So basically, the verbiage that I've used is anti. Anti-differentiation, which basically means undoing the derivative, right? That's all basically anti, anti, you know, con, right? It's just undoing it, right? Being against the derivative going the other way. That is the same thing as integration, which I'm also going to actually more commonly refer to the process. Rather than saying, hey, apply anti-differentiation, which is a long thing to say. You can see, even if I keep on talking, I'm not uh, making a breath, it's long-winded. We could also use integration. However, um, same thing as the antiderivative is equal to what we call the integral. All right, and I'll explain, kind of show you this new process and all this kind of stuff. But it's important. I want to relate this stuff to you and it'll kind of at least give you an idea of the notation. So before I do that, let's kind of look at um, a basic idea of notation. Okay. So let's look at, again, the derivative of something. And if you guys remember, we use this derivative. And basically, there's a couple things that are happening here. This word, or this letter D, was basically telling us to take the derivative. That's basically that saying. When you see that D over something, that's saying, hey, take the derivative. This is saying, with respect to what variable, so we're taking with respect to x, and then this is of something. So whatever that something is, sometimes it's f of x, right? Sometimes it's like an expression, cosine, sine, whatever else. But that's basically what we're looking at. When we're looking d of, d of dx, it's basically saying take the derivative with respect to x of something. And you put that something in there, and then you go and take the derivative. right? And you guys are familiar with that. I mean, I don't need to explain much if I give you dx. You guys know what to do. Correct, right? And if I change this to y, remember using like implicit, like you guys could, you guys know what to do, how taking it with respect to y changes things, right? Remember we talked about that, and we'll go back over that again. But again, that, those are important things to remember. So anti-differentiation, or the integral, kind of has the same understanding. We are going to use a different notation here. Kind of looks like a nice little s. And it actually is supposed to represent s because it represents sum, which we'll talk more about. Um, you know, did you guys do Riemann sums already, too? No? OK. But the important thing I wanted to go over this is because this little dx again shows up. OK? So when you guys are doing your um, uh, integration, you can see we have this integration, right? or this little new symbol. We have, again, our something, and then we have the dx. So again, what do all of them mean? Like when you read them or when you see this, I want you guys to understand something, what they mean. So again, this, this symbol is kind of like the d. It just means like take the antiderivative. So when you guys, from now on, when you guys see that symbol, you say, oh, take the antiderivative. This, whatever that is, it's of something. So whatever that is, and then with respect to x. So your problem is going to look like this. Okay. Now, the important thing I want you guys to understand is Like, obviously, these mean two different things. This means take the derivative with respect of x squared. This means take the antiderivative of x squared with respect to dx. So the issue comes in is not many students have a problem 